the conversation with the fat girl at my job. Now, this was at the time when I stayed in Dark Game, Chapter 2, that I get my first job without having to rely on a tip agency. And it's literally everything I want in a job. And there's anime there. There's hella pretty girls there. There is a kick-ass boss there. It's hella funny. There's everything you want in the job, basically. There's older people. There's younger people. There's hella people that I was fucked with. Now, what thing I have to state is I got along with the oldest first, the OG. The one who's just there because his, his son is already grown. So it comes down to this. Everybody's telling me at my job, why are you so antisocial? And literally, I don't like keeping conversations at my job. It was my first job, so I was literally just trying to keep it. And girls were trying to talk to me. I, I already knew what the business was. And I wasn't going to feed into it. So here's what happens. All these pretty girls try to make conversations with me, try to hit on me. And I know girls by now to the point where it's like, Unless you do something about it, I'm not going to put emphasis on it. If not, I'm just going to ignore it. So, the running gag at my job is, why are you being so antisocial? And so, all of a sudden, this cool-ass fat girl comes up to me, and we start having a conversation, and we literally show them how it's done. And literally, we start capping on each other. She so say, hey, what's wrong with you sort of stuff? And I'm like, oh, you're one of the top with your color looking like diarrhea. He's like, belts on the ground, belts on the ground, pants to your knees, pants to your I'm like, keep this up and you're going to be working at the freezer section. So basically, the moral of the story is trying to tell them, he's not antisocial. And see, explain that, that he knows that you're trying to set him up. If you just give him respect, if you just come at him like a normal person without doing that Barbie doll shit, without trying to flirt, with just treating him like a normal person, it can happen. But if you keep on pursuing for something romantic, if you keep on pursuing for something that's out of this world, if you keep on trying to make him a tool, if you keep on trying to do this and that, of course he's gonna stay distant from you. And see, Lily showed him that first thing. It's not the fact that she's fat, it's the fact that she's a cool ass person. And the reason why I say this is fat is because I love the fact that she's fat. And C loves the fact that she's fat. If that wasn't the case, she wouldn't have stepped up to me and showed him how it's done. It's not about me being antisocial, it's about the intent that's coming behind every time a girl approaches me at my job. So that's why she showed him how it's done. And at the end of my job, when I literally call it, I'm like, oh, you think this is funny? You think that I'm not going to call out that you guys tried to set me up for months and I tried to get another job? And as soon as I try to get another interview, you call me for overtime? Another fat girl at the end, as soon as I walk off, she's like, what happened? And she already knows what happened because she gives me the look like, you won. It's because they kept on teasing you. It's because they kept on giving you leeway. It's why you have the right to leave. It's why you literally showed them that it is more to you than just your body. There is more to you than just your art. You are a good person. You are funny. You are this and that. But they keep on trying to change the situation to the fact that they're pointing out you oh you're boring oh you're just not no he's just trying to treat people like a good person he doesn't want to talk to them about dumb shit he and the example stayed the oldest guy is the one who i got along with for all the teenagers and stuff like that were the ones who i stayed away from were the ones who i literally go through my actions that yo I'm a good person, stop demanding so much from me and just treat me like a normal person with no manipulation and we're good. And that girl was literally one of the funnest girls at that job and she literally showed me so much good stuff. And literally there was another time where I saw that example again where this girl at Starbucks asked me a dumb question and she was very pretty. So th all of a sudden, this girl, who slightly, you know, I don't want to say fat anymore. I said fat because I respect her. <laughs> but this other girl with the same build comes around. And we get into a mini conversation. And we, I tell her, I like your lanyard or shit like that. I like your little stitch plushie. And she's like, thanks. And I start talking about the conspiracy theory about Peter Pan and Neverland. And literally, it's a short conversation. So these little nerds start commenting after 
I have that interaction. He's like, dude, that was legendary. He's like, no, I'm just saying you an example. It's not the fact that she's pretty. It's the fact that this girl actually has a personality, and she's trying to tell you, read the situation. You're at, you're behind the desk, just like these girls are at my job. There's a time and place for everything. If they really, really, truly want to get to know you, then they would schedule an event outside the job because the only did at the job is when they came with the mentality of you gotta chase us. I'm like, no, I don't have to do shit but collect my paycheck and I'm out. 